Like I said, this is this is kind of the narrative I think the left was waiting for. They would have liked to believe, or they would continue to like to believe, that the only reason Robert Mueller didn't charge President Trump or recommend charges for President Trump for obstruction is because he couldn't. He was ex constrained by these OLC gui or this OLC guidance. So first of all, I want to break this down top to bottom. But first of all, explain to our viewers what this is. What is Robert Mueller referring to when he says OLC guidance? Yeah, well, he's talking about uh, the rule that uh, the Department of Justice typically doesn't indict um, a sitting president, or at least they do under seal, which means that they it's uh, done in a secret manner and would wait until a president is actually uh, done with his time in office. And that is constitutionally sound, because if we look at Article 1, Section 3, and Congress's um, oversight and the whole impeachment process, there's language in there that does suggest that a person has to first be convicted of impeachment go through impeachment and removal being tried by the Senate before then they are liable to other um, acts of law. And so the OLC guideline, I do believe, is constitutionally sound. There's a variance of opinion here. But the bottom line here, Liz, is that Robert Mueller doesn't even need to reach that argument. It's a legal red herring that is just trying to incentivize and inflame Democrats to say, oh, he can't go after Trump, when really the bottom line is there is insufficient evidence to charge the president anyway. That's really the key here. And so for him to go into this whole OLC guideline doesn't really matter because the point is there's not enough evidence to charge even if they can or can't. Right. No, you're 100 percent correct on that. And I think this is why Mueller and the left are resorting to these rhetorical tricks or this OLC narrative, because ultimately there's nothing to charge. There's no evidence of a crime being committed.